Uh, so there's a, a community-run relief site that had been down in front of a laundromat just a few blocks away. They've okay. been here since day one of, uh, of the storm servicing uh, the community here in Far Rockaway. The laundromat decided that they wanted to reopen, um, so they had them relocated. I'm not, uh, it's not totally clear if they've been coordinating with the New York Restoration Project, but they were given access to this space. They've been here for a handful of days, and then today, folks from the New York Restoration Project came in, uh, pushed them out, uh, locked it up, and moved all their stuff to an open lot a few blocks away that's like in the middle of the street. It's completely exposed. Um, and so now they're uh, they're servicing people on the sidewalk here. And, and we put in a call. We just called folks at the New York Restoration Project to let them know that it's unacceptable. Winter's coming. Nothing is going to be planted here. It's a bullshit excuse to evict this community-run site. Um, and also this soil needs to be tested before anything can be planted. Um, okay, we saw up already another year since last week. Um, Monday? A couple of the founders... Um, garden holders that have keys so that it was okay for us to use the property to do this. The following day they came back and tell us um, we can't operate out of here so we get ready to leave last week Wednesday when it was told to us that we could operate out of here until we find somewhere else to go. Today they came over and tell us that we can't do nothing more here. We can't operate out of here no more because they're gonna um, start planting stuff. The New York City Restoration Project? The, yes. That's where they say they're from. And the big guy told him that we cannot no longer use the property here. But I don't understand it because this is a community garden and we are serving our community. So I, I don't get it. And it then, makes no sense to me. People that we've been here doing this for over a month now, we don't want flowers. We want food. Well, exactly. flowers are going to grow in, in this December. weather. We exactly. Don't know. It makes no sense. And, and not only that, yes. it's, it, when when they do grow things in this garden, we as stuff. a community, we cannot come in here. We cannot get anything out what? of this garden. When we try to help the community, this is what we get. We get kicked yeah. out, you yeah. might as well say. So you've been over here giving people food. Some clothes, yes, supplies, what they need, all, everything, all their needs. Where are you They're, getting the stuff from that you're giving? They, just under the Red Cross, the private donations, donations, everything. And we turned back already two trucks. We just had a truck pull up, and we couldn't even take the stuff. Your property, why are you saying community? Yeah. And another thing I wanted to say is that all these people that was here today that put us out is not from this community. So you didn't experience That's what right. we experienced. Exactly. I live here. So none of them, and I asked all of them, are anyone here from this community? None of them are from this community. So you don't know what we went through. You don't know what it's like 20 days with no light, no heat. Some of us had no food. You don't, you don't know. So you didn't experience it. So you will not understand why we're doing what we're doing. You know, um, it's going to take years, months, years for people to get back you know, to the way things were before. This is not going to take one month, two, three months. Some people lose their whole homes, everything they have. Nobody want a garden right now. My name is Sharon Plummer. I'm a resident of Four Rockaway. Um, the reason why I'm here today is to get some answers. Um, I was providing service for my community. When I say service, I mean I was distributing to my community. I have the Red Cross, I have City Harvest dropping off stuff to me for my community. I was located before at 2515 Seagirt Boulevard, operating outside of the laundromat. But due, due to the laundromat being closed for uh, over a month um, because of Sandy, for myself and for the resident of the community, I'm not able to operate out of there because of they're cleaning the laundromat right now where there's a lot of dust and mold. I'm looking out for the safety of myself and for the community. So we decided to move to a community garden and Seagirt Boulevard. It's supposed to be a community garden for the community. At this time, the community garden has not been used for planting no form of fruits or vegetable. 
we got okay from members of the community garden that we were we could use the community to operate for distribution, yeah. water, blankets, food supply, pampers, formulas for baby as needed in the community. They and gave self organized all of this. Yes, I put this together for the community. One of the reasons is it was hard for citizens or residents to go to 116 where they was giving out distribution for the community. It was hard for a lot of people to go to Mud Avenue without a transportation, without means of getting there. So I stepped up for my community to do this in memory of my son, Sean Plummer, who was murdered four months ago. The community was there with me when I lost my son. So for me to give back to my community, this was one thing that I decided to help my community. And I was told today that we can no longer operate out of this community garden because of they needed to plant to prepare it for planting. It's the middle of winter. The soil is damaged. What can we plant? They need to do a soil assessment. They, they need to do a soil assessment, you know. And it's very sad because, um, as I say, I have contact with the Salvation, the Salvation Army, the Red Cross, City Harvest. Right now we're planning myself and the Red Cross to donate toys for the kids in the area for Christmas. And right now we we are on a lot. We're supposed to be HPD lot. It's at the corner of Beach 32nd Street, but it's an open field. We have no security there. I so mean, they came today and they made you guys. They took all your your goods, all yes, your and resources, yes. and they put it in some parking lot nearby. It's, it's not a parking lot. It's a what HPD it? lot. It's it's fenced around, but there is no tent. There is nothing there. So we just been we be out in the cold. We will be getting breeze from off the off the boardwalk, dust from off the main street, and you know, for the citizens and the residents and also myself. It's not really a safe environment right there. Right. It's it's a problem because the 40s and the 30s there's a problem. What's the problem? Um, they have a thing they call beef. Like it's a turf thing. So right now you don't have a lot of residents who really want to go in the 40s because they have problem with some of the the guys from the 30s. Okay. So why would you jeopardize innocent people going into an area where they don't feel comfortable and feel safe? Okay, so in other words, the place where they moved you to is on the other side of the turf war? No, it, it's not really. It's sort of. It, but we are in the open now. It's an open lot. So you don't feel safe? It's not, no, we're not safe. We don't feel safe right here. Because what could happen? Don't but know. we don't know. Some shootings? Some shootings? God forbid. Because I lost my son four months ago to gun violence. Innocent 18 year old riding from the store got caught in a crossfire. Had none to do with him. You understand? And as I say, my community was there for me, so I'm giving back to my community. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome.